Alright, so yesterday, day 17, um, left Lima, Montana, and did 53 miles. It was a, it was a hard day. I had like headwind in the morning, and then rain almost all afternoon, and then the trails, the roads were just complete muck. Like, shit, like, I would get so much dirt, so much mud built up here and down here that the bike tire, the rear tire, wouldn't even turn. And then that happened with the front, too. It got so caked up, you just couldn't even push it. It was, oh, it was so aggravating. Like, I was, I was yelling out there all by myself, exposed in this just open land. And, uh, just... I'm so miserable like the most miserable day I've had yet uh, rarely there'd be a truck that came by and just as one of the racers was passing me uh, he, I, was, I was telling him like hey man like I'm about to lose my cool right now you know like you should just go on ahead you know and he's like no 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 I'll stop I'll, I'll hang out he, he's like ah oh, you know like here have a piece of chocolate and make you happy you know he's like I know man, this is this is hard. He's like, it's all part about backpacking though, bike packing. And so as soon as he said that a truck came by and I flagged the truck down and I'm like, hey, hey, like he's like, hey, how's it going? I was like, terrible. Like I uh, how much you guys want? I'll pay you. Drive me to Lima. I'm I'm done. I've had enough of this. I can't take it anymore. I'm freaking done. And they're just laughing at me. <laughs> Never took me seriously. Didn't ask how much. Yeah, you know, I was willing to pay him a hundred bucks for 15 miles. You know, take me and my bike back. So, but they uh, they just laughed and then continued on the conversation, and uh, and then they drove off. Oh, when they drove off, I saw the back of the truck and they had so much junk back there. That I wouldn't have fit anyways. Um, so they said, they said, I'll oh, just keep going. You know, like a half mile will dry up. And they were right, man. And thank God. So I kept going a half mile later and it dried up and finally started moving again. But man, that was my breaking point. And then I got to the campsite here and uh, the New Zealand guy, Rich, that, you know, gave me some chocolate. He was like, uh, he was at the campsite. Oh, good. I'm glad you made it. Blah, blah, blah. You know. And uh, hey, man, I'm sorry. They, you know, you saw that meltdown. <laughs> He's like, no, no. He's like, hey, I've had my days too, you know. And then there were a couple other guys that rolled in late. <laughs> so I started talking to them. And I was like, oh, what you guys think about that mud? They're like, <coughs> <coughs> the guys like, uh, I'm trying not to think about it anymore. If I do, I'm going to want to quit. I said, yeah, 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 I almost quit today too. <laughs> it was that bad. So... Now my bike's making all kinds of grinding noises. I think there's a bunch of dirt in the gears, like in the hub of the, the pedals. Um, I got no way to clean it off right now, though. So I think it's like 42, 44 miles to... Keep putting it in the sun, huh? 42 or 44 miles into uh, uh, Island Park. So I'm going to hit there. It says it has everything commercially, um, grocery stores and whatnot. So I'm assuming that means a bike shop. Um, so I'm gonna try and hit, get there early enough before they close, hit the bike shop, and do a full tune up or something. I don't know, but hopefully she makes it there. So. But yeah, it's windy as heck today. Um, hopefully it's gonna be a tailwind. Uh, I don't know, but at least it's not raining yet clear skies for now so better get on the road and take advantage of it all right see you